Hey guys, this is going to be the one week update of my Halo Beauty TVC supplement test that I'm doing on myself. Right now, I'm thinking about doing weekly updates. I'm seeing some changes from week to week to week. As you guys know, the way YouTube world works, we need to pre-record and then we are able to post after editing. However, do let me know in the comments below if you are interested in seeing weekly updates or I should rather do directly a monthly update for you also let me know in the comments below if you would like me to continue this trial any longer i have only purchased one of these hello beauty supplements if you guys think i should continue this trial longer then i will just place an order for a three month supply so that way i'll save on shipping as you guys know shipping was a little bit too much but anyway let's go into this week's update here are my skin concerns i have some fine lines on my forehead and then i definitely have some elevenses which get more pronounced as the day progresses i have more severe deeper crow's feet you can say then i have been experiencing really really dry skin on my lip especially my upper lip and i always have dry patches on my chin i have like a weird white head that doesn't seem to be going away and i have like this weird bump under my left eye that i have had for a while now and then i have these i can't call them dark circles but dark patches in my under eye region more towards the inner corner and i always experience dry skin just at and under the tip of my nose i also have two big pimples on my face today on either sides which is pretty unusual for me actually when i have pimples this size it does take a couple of weeks or longer for the marks to fade completely so let's see if this supplement improves on that recovery time now going into this trial one of my major concerns was developing any allergies to the kiwi seeds and the bromelain here you go, guys. Day two. Still no smell. Today I've had my breakfast and uh, I'm going to take it now. So today is day two and after the serious trip, I started feeling really, really Bang. tired. But I also went to the gym and uh, I thought that I was just tired from the gym. But I feel like I'm coming down with something. I'm feeling very, very flamey, flammy. And um, that's it. Like I mean, otherwise I'm just feeling tired and flammy. Yeah, I don't know uh, what's going on. I hope. Uh, it's not an allergic reaction to bromelain or kiwi. Keeping my fingers crossed <laughs> right now, I'm hoping it's just a bug. Guys, day three, I'm feeling a lot better than I was feeling last night. I still have a little bit of phlegm in my, you know, like right there. <clears throat> but I honestly don't know if it was because of all the places that I went to, if I picked up a bug there, if... I got the bug from my kids because, yeah, my younger one has a pretty bad runny nose right now. And I forgot to mention that I did color my hair yesterday and I was, you know, in this, uh, I was using a new hair color that I haven't used in the past. If that got me sick, if, you know, if I got like an allergic reaction, it had a pretty strong perfumey scent. Uh, there are too many factors, so I'm going to just... Uh, continue yesterday i did take the supplement with meal so i don't know if that affected today i'm gonna get take it on empty stomach again and you know we have whole 30 days to test out different theories so <clears throat> on empty stomach today all right so let's see how today goes Oh, I should add in that I didn't apply my usual facial moisturizers last night out of laziness, okay? <laughs> that was not for science, just out of laziness. And I'm definitely feeling some dryness. Uh, I had a pimple developing on the very first day, like right there. I could feel it like under my skin, like it was painful. Today, I'm not feeling it. I'm feeling like this thing here I picked at it it was a white head and now it's getting a little bit painful that's how it happens to me it gets painful and then it comes to surface and clears out and uh, then it's gone that's how usually you know my pimples clear out <clears throat> these are getting like dark as you can see now 
I have decided to take my pills on empty stomach because I forgot to mention that on day two, the day I got sick, it could have been just a side effect that, of that, I don't know, but when I took my pill, a pill, I keep on calling them pills, but they are pills. But when I took the supplement with my meal, I did feel like, you know, just at the base of my gut, like right there. As if like I was getting a little pull, as if my diaphragm was like getting depressed. And I feel that exact feeling when I'm taking just regular multivitamins on empty stomach. But I felt it with this supplement um, when I took it with me. So I'm going to continue taking them before my food. Today's day four, I suppose, or five. Wow, it always happens to me. I always lose track of time. But anyway, I completely forgot to take my vitamins. Vitamins as in the supplement. This morning and it's noon, but... Day six and is it day six? Yes, day six because today is Friday. So and I'm planning to also take a couple of vitamin B12 supplements that I got from the dollar store. Why am I talking with the supplement in my mouth? Not good. Not good. Wait. Mm. Yeah, so I'm planning to also take a couple of vitamin B12 supplements. A couple because there's only 50 milligrams in each of the supplements that I got from Dollar Tree. Day 7, it's 7.30 a.m. in the morning. I'm supposed to be heading to the Sephora holiday, holiday preview or something like that. But, uh, oh, I'm water here. Yesterday I noticed a lot of peeling on my nose, especially on the sides. I have been a little bit lazy with not applying uh, my moisturizers, but I have never seen so much peeling. So I don't know if this is like the skin renewal process. Actually, I felt like the top surface of my skin felt much smoother after I applied moisturizer to it. Almost like slightly taut. I don't know okay I don't know if it's actually that but that's what I felt but I also noticed a lot of peeling on my nose so I don't know if my body's getting rid of the topmost layer of my skin or not I don't know my lip doesn't feel dry to touch but it feels tight like it is dry my feet were definitely dry and I've been picking at this poor pimple so which is not good news I don't know what these spots are right now. Yeah, so these, I don't know if there is a red spot here, but I don't feel anything. I don't know if I mentioned on the very first day, I felt like there was like a pimple that was going to come out because it was a little bit uh, painful. Like I could feel the pimple under my skin layer and nothing popped up. So that's that. Yeah, I'm not feeling any new pimples popping up at the moment and this has gotten pretty flat because I kind of picked at it and cleaned it up. So now here is the side by side of the beginning of the week with the end of the week. All right, so here was my update of the one week trial on the Kiwi Seed Supplement and I have been noticing some additional results week to week to week. Let me know if you guys would be interested in getting a weekly update or I should rather just do like end of the month update. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.